so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to get another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch so remember that you do lose all your outfits except for only one so before you start the glitch you want to equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also you want to go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or earpiece if you don't already have one so if you don't have a rebreather or an earpiece just go to ammunition and go get one and also for this glitch you are gonna need the orange joggers so right now you have two options you can either get the orange joggers before you do the glitch because maybe you don't care about your outfit or you don't want to save it or if you do care about your outfit and you want to save it you can get the orange joggers after um you get the components just like i'm gonna be doing and if you don't know how to get the orange joggers i'm gonna put a link in the description and probably put a card in the upper right of the video something like that but yeah once you're ready to start the glitch just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character once you get loaded inside of here just go over to your second character and underneath your second character it's either gonna say edit or delete if it says delete under your second character just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters will walk in and you're gonna get the edit option once you got the edit option under your second character just go ahead and select it and when your second character is going you're gonna get this alert right here just go ahead and accept it once your second character gets in this room if it ended up being a male just change it into a female if it ended up being a female just leave it as a female go ahead and save and continue make a random name for it and then take the picture once you take the picture the game is going to go ahead and load you inside of a new session So once you get loaded inside your new session, just go ahead and hit your pause button and open up your map and you want to check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you see clothing stores in your session, just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one. If you don't see any clothing stores, all you got to do is go to online and find a new session or just switch sessions and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So once again, if you do see clothing stores in your session, just go to the nearest one. And if you don't see any clothing stores, just switch sessions or find a new session and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session.
so once you get inside the clothing store first you're gonna come to the top section go to overcoats and buy the forest closed parka so just come over here to the top section go to overcoats and buy the forest closed parka and if it says open just go ahead and buy it and i'm going to show you guys how to close it So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. And if it says open, just go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles and go all the way down. And it should give you the option to open it and close it. Make sure you close it and also make sure you put the hoodie up. Once you got that, you wanna make your way over to the pants section, go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants, which should be the first ones. So just come to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. Once you've got that, you want to make your way over to the shoe section, go to the boots and buy the chocolate slack boots. So just come over here to the shoe section, go to the boots and purchase the chocolate slack boots. Once you've bought the boots, make your way over to the accessories and if your female character has any earrings on, make sure you take them off because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings. So if your female character has any earrings on, make sure you take it off before you save your outfit. And also when you save your outfit, make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So let's say the outfit on your main character that you didn't want to lose was in slot. 20 or like slot 15 you will just save this in a different slot so you just save it on a empty slot that's on your main character once you've saved your outfit you want to back out make your way over to the top section go to work jackets and purchase the peach camel clothes field so just come to the work jackets and purchase the peach camel clothes field this one right here just go ahead and buy it once you've got that you want to go ahead and back out stay inside the top section go to gun running t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt which should be the last one so just come to the gun running t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt once you have that just make your way over to the cashier lady and come save this outfit and when you save it make sure you save it underneath of your previous outfit that you made So once you saved your outfit, just go ahead and hit be a circle to back out, go to standard outfits and purchase a chica outfit. Once you've got the chica outfit, just go ahead and completely back out, hit your pause button, go to online and go inside of creator. Once you get loaded inside a creator, just click on create a race and then click on land race. Once you get loaded in here, click on race details. Go ahead and fill out the title and the description. It doesn't have to be anything specific. I just put in random stuff for it. After that, go ahead and take the photo, set the maximum players to two, and then put the root type on point to point. Once you've got that, just hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to warp over to the airport. 
once you get to the airport just hit b a circle your back button click on placement click on place triggers and just go ahead and place down your trigger anywhere you want when you have that just go ahead and back out of it click on lobby camera go ahead and take it and then back out of that and click on the checkpoints now it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down as long as the race is 0.62 miles or longer so just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer when you've made it 0.62 miles or longer just hit your back button twice so either be a circle just hit it twice and it's going to give you the option to test out your race and you just want to go ahead and test it out Once you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online and click on choose character. Once you get loaded into this little room right here, you're going to go over to your second character and delete her. So make sure you delete the girl with a chica outfit on because you don't want to delete your main by accident. Go over to the girl with the chica outfit on and you're going to delete her. Once you delete your second character, two new characters will walk in. From here, just hit your back button. So either be a circle and it's going to take you inside of single player. When you get loaded into single player, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and you just want to go inside of a invite only session. So you're just going inside of a invite only session when you load inside of single player. So once you get loaded inside your online session, first thing you want to do is make sure you go save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. So make sure you go save it. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and go get the orange joggers to merge it with the outfit. And like I said earlier, I'm going to leave a link in the description and also in the comment section and a card at the beginning of the video. It's basically the video I uploaded yesterday, but I'm just going to go ahead and go get the orange joggers right now all right so now i got my orange joggers and you don't have to save it but make sure you take the boots off or you're not going to get a tron shoe so just put on any sneakers and just have the orange joggers once you have that just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created go to versus and you want to start up crooked cops when you get inside crooked cops make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work so I'm going to say that one more time. Make sure you put the clothing on player owned inside of Crooked Cops. 
once you've got that you want to either invite your friend to join or just wait for a random to join So once you get loaded inside the crypt cops, just go down to own the outfits and hit right on the D-pad twice. So the first time you're going to get the outfit and the second time you're going to get the cop belt on your outfit. From here, just go ahead and ready up. So when you get loaded inside of Crooked Cops, you should have your outfit on. From here, just go ahead and open up your interaction menu and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. Once you put on a rebreather or earpiece, just go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you get loaded inside your online session, you should have your outfit on. For me, just go to ammunition and go save it. Once you save it, you can go ahead and delete the component for it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it, share, and subscribe. And make sure you turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos.